So just a heads up, this is going to be a pretty long video. In fact, probably one of the longest I've done in a while. You can see we're in Minecraft today because we're going to be doing something that I've had in the back of my head for many years now. And that is taking a look at my old single player worlds, specifically this one right here. Or not just specifically this one, but this is the one I'm talking about in the title. Because you can see this world was last opened on August 9th, 2012. And the day I'm recording this video is August 9th, 2022. It's been 10 years since I have opened this world. And we're going to be opening it today and revisiting what I was doing back in 2012 in this world. Then we're going to move on to these other ones here because I'll be honest this world is not going to be the most interesting because from what i remember it's basically the world i created when i discovered accidentally i think <laughs> that you could make snowmen by putting a pumpkin on top of two snow blocks and i did that in my main creative world and then just decided let me make a dedicated world for just that Beyond that, I don't know what exactly I did. It's been, well, 10 years. This is something, like I said, I've been wanting to do this for a while because I discovered this world in here probably, or I guess rediscovered it back in 2015, 16, something like that. And I said to myself, you know what? I'm going to wait until like 10 years have passed before I open this world ever again. And I want to like do it on video and kind of record my reactions. This is going to really be a nostalgia trip for me. Um, and, and maybe you as well. I don't know because, I mean, you, you might kind of get some nostalgia feelings as well as we kind of go through this stuff and take a look at old Minecraft worlds. Um, I don't know. Maybe nobody will find this interesting, but I just wanted to do this. Let's go ahead. This is like the moment of truth. This is kind of like, this is like, we can't go back from here because once I open this, this date will change. So we're just going to do it. Let's open this world for the first time in 10 years. Oh my gosh, here we go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at this. Okay, I'm starting to remember this here. So, um, okay, we're definitely getting some lag here. We've got a bunch of entities all over the place. We've got some snowballs here. Yeah, we're definitely lagging a bit. Um, and you can see all the snowmen. They're just kind of scattered around. Oh, no. Well, that was a creeper, I guess. Um, let me go ahead and turn my, uh, my settings down here. My goal with this is I'm not going to do a whole lot of like fancy editing this video like I would normally do because I, I want this to kind of be reliving like the early days of, of Minecraft YouTube as well. You know, back then people didn't really uh, do all these like fancy edits with like words on the screen and stuff like you see today. Not that there's necessarily anything like wrong with that. It's just, you know, a, a different style. It's what's more popular now, but Back in the early days, and I know, being a former Minecraft YouTuber myself, uh, that, you know, it was just kind of, I don't know, it just seemed like things were kind of more off the cuff. I mean, maybe that's just me, but, yeah, that's just, it just kind of, I mean, it certainly was uh, different. So let's just kind of see here. I, I got these three, like, wooden structures, and then this is a, a nether portal here. I guess these are, like, homes that I made here. Oh, yeah, I, I always remember doing this. I would, in my uh, creative worlds, I would, like, this is supposed to be a couch, and this is, like, a like a TV stand kind of thing, although you can sit behind it, so I don't really know what I was going with here. And this is the classic, like, water elevator thing that... Uh, that you would make, you know, like, oh, yeah, you know, it's, uh, it's like a little elevator. Of course, you would drown in it if you were in survival mode. But I, I mean, a little bit of my Minecraft, like, history, I guess. And we'll just kind of go through these rooms as I do this here. So we got another, like, bedroom here. Unfortunately, all the paintings fell off the wall. I don't know exactly, uh, what I was, I, I guess I just had them up as, like, decorations. But, yeah, here's, here's a bed. And I guess all, like, I do remember a ton of snowmen. Like, oh, like, look down here. Look at this. So I guess they just fell down here. <laughs> you can see I, like, built this one layer. Yeah, this is just your standard forest biome. 
but I just made a bunch of snowmen, and then they just went on over the place. Am I repeating myself? I, I, I might be. Let's just move on to uh, the next world here. Yeah, like I said, definitely not the most interesting, certainly for me, but it gets me that nice 10 years in the title, so... Uh, that's that's pretty much why I uh, wanted to take a look at this one first. You can see my mouse went immediately to multiplayer because when I do play Minecraft, which isn't as often as I used to, certainly, it's usually multiplayer. Like, I never... I mean, you can see before this... Well, this world I just created today to, like, test this out. Um, and, you know, get my, like, OBS recording settings set up and everything. But before that, the last world I took a look at was this test VM world from 2021, which was the world that I used to demonstrate Minecraft in Minecraft, which I believe I uploaded in April. So that was uh, that was the last time I played Minecraft single player, like properly, even if you want to really call that playing because it was just a demo a mod. But yeah, so snap, 120 of 2013, 4, 16 p.m. I think this was short for snapshot. I don't know what snapshot it is, 2013... I mean, there were many snapshots released, but let's just dive into this one here. Yeah, what I was saying earlier, so my Minecraft history, okay, I started playing Minecraft in 2009, back before there was even a desktop client. This was when it was strictly a web browser game, like it was a game you would play on Minecraft.net, there was no downloadable client, and it was strictly, why is there a ghast? We're in the... We're in the overworld. Oh, there's a ghast. I must have spawned that with a... Oh, you know what? I think this was the uh, the snapshot that spawn eggs were introduced or something. And I think I just demoed... Is, is kill all a... Uh... Oh, no. That's... <laughs> that's not... I'm used to uh, kill all, which is not a... Uh... It's not a command here. I think that's an essentials command. Um, but yeah, let me just... Let, let me just quickly uh, kill this ghast here. Of course, he's not going to really do much to me at all. He's not going to attack me because I'm in, you know, creative mode here. But we'll just, just get him here. Come on. There you go. Oh, boy. We got those achievements. Oh, it plays like a sound effect when you get... I guess maybe that's only that specific achievement or one of these two here. Uneasy Alliance, rescue a ghast from the nether, bring it safely home to the overworld, and then kill it. <laughs> okay. There is one video I have on my hard drive. I'm pretty sure it's Minecraft 1.5. I have a, like, overview of, like, what was changed. I never uploaded it for whatever reason. I think I was trying to do the same thing with this one here. Yeah, again, another kind of boring world here. Nothing super exciting. But... My Minecraft history, that's what I keep getting on and then like something distracts me. So I started playing Minecraft 2009 back before there was a downloadable client. It was a browser game and it was strictly creative mode, right? Survival mode wasn't even a thing yet. And you did not have to pay for the game for what became known as Minecraft Classic. I pretty much played that exclusively for like 2009, 2010. I did not buy a license for Minecraft, well, what was known back then as a premium license for the downloadable game until Beta 1.8 came out. And by that time, creative mode was already added into the game. So I didn't really mess around with survival mode at all. Survival mode was the original mode for the desktop client, and then they added creative mode later on. But I, because I was used to playing creative mode for the couple years I played on the browser version, I didn't play survival mode really at all. So as you're going to see when we go through here, most of these worlds are creative worlds. I do have a couple survival worlds in here that we'll take a brief look at as well. I know that I'm rambling a lot. I'm just going to do that. Heads up. Because this is going to be a long video. Very, very long video. Have I said that already? Yeah, I have. Let's just move on. 1.4.2. And let's just see what this is about. Okay, bring home the beat. Yeah, this is definitely a... Yeah, another uh, kind of demo world that I was like that I had set up to show off the features in uh, in this case 1.4.2. I have I had more of these than I thought. I thought I just did that 1.5 um, thing. And yeah, this is when item frames, I think, were introduced or else I don't know what I'd be demoing here. I'm assuming this is like, hey, item frames are a thing. And in here. Uh, I think these are some of the new items. Yeah, item frame, beacon, cobblestone walls, nether star. I don't know why leather caps are in here. Or just leather armor. Uh, spawn eggs, creeper heads, other mob heads. 
Uh, you got the beacon here. We got the, you know, anvil damage thing, how it, like, would slowly degrade. Um, oh, this is, you know, naming a sword, you know, like, cool sword, your uh, enchantment. And then whatever this was, I think this was probably, like, demoing... Oh, you know what? This was probably a TNT cart. That's my, that's my best guess. But let me see here. When were... TNT carts added to Minecraft. Let me just look that up here. Okay, it was Java 1.5. And yet this is 1.4.2. You know, whatever it is, I I guess it was cool. Okay, let's move on. Can we get to some of these, like, these, these, these demo worlds are, like, kind of boring. I, I don't mean to bore you guys, but I don't know. I'm sure some people are going to find this video boring. But, okay. Huge Village, March 7th, 2013, 6.11 p.m. So let's see, loading terrain, what is Huge Village? Apparently right now, it's nothing, because we're falling into the void. Okay. So, yeah, it looks like you've got just a bunch of random items in your hand. Which I think that's, like, close to the default creative world hand. And... I, was this a world I downloaded, or was this... Oh, this was probably a seed, maybe. That's probably what this was. This was probably a seed I found. Or maybe it was a world that I downloaded. But either way, it's not super interesting because it's just a huge village. Like, just... A, this is probably a couple villages, like, just right next to each other. So you got one over there, and you got one over here as well. So, yeah, not really super interesting. But I guess I just was messing around with some stuff. Yeah, I did download a couple worlds, like from some, uh, like from some Minecraft. I used to watch Minecraft idea videos, which were basically like people showing you, like, "Hey, I built this mob spawner or whatever in Minecraft, and you know, this is how you can build it." And sometimes they would have their like world downloads. I don't know if those are in here. I think maybe one or two of them are. Like, I think this, I think this gigantic awesome world is not mine. I believe that, uh, that I, yeah, because I, I definitely renamed the actual world folder gigantic awesome world. This, I'm pretty sure, is just a world that I downloaded from some guy on, uh, YouTube. And if I remember correctly, this world is gigantic. There's, like, a bunch of stuff that, that this guy built. Um, I don't know if it was by hand or if he used some like world building tool you know that like made it easier i'm remembering this i do remember this like uh you know this is supposed to be the apple store on fifth avenue you know the massive glass cube with the apple logo it's kind of what this is supposed to be i definitely did not build this um raw materials yo <laughs> so it's got like a bunch of random stuff in here definitely not all raw materials because we got some swords and stuff in there foodstuffs uh we got chests in the ground rails some random like there's one double slab uh you know stone slabs there for some reason and yeah this is definitely unfinished because we got like dirt here and cobblestone but yeah i 100 percent did not build this this is i don't know who created this i'll be honest um i have no way i mean unless i can somehow find the video of the guy who had this world downloaded. He probably had it hosted on like a Mega Upload or something. Or was Mega Upload shut down in, I think it was like 2010, 2011. So it was probably like Mediafire or something. Gosh, the Mega Upload days. Do you guys remember that? I downloaded so much stuff from Mega Upload. So many like virtual machine things. I specifically remember that. So we got Chaz's house. Okay. Um, got some like... Diamond, gold blocks, lapis blocks. And, yeah, gosh, every time I'm going into these worlds, it's like the time is, uh, it's becoming nighttime. So, I guess we can kind of fly through here. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on this because it's not actually my world. So, I'm just going to kind of go through and be like, oh, this is something that some random guy built. But, I guess it's kind of cool. I mean, it's certainly, this is certainly very involving. See what we got over here? We got some, like, uh, like, maybe the beginning of a castle. We got, like, lava around, like a lava moat. Um, some cobblestone. I don't know, maybe, was this a survival world? Like, 
Because why would they be storing items in chests? I think maybe this is, and yeah, you got a bunch of cobblestone, which if it was survival, you'd have a bunch of if you were going mining all the time. So maybe this was originally a survival world and I just converted it to creative. Let's go ahead and uh, <laughs> let's just get out of this because I mean, it's not, again, not my world, so not going to be like super nostalgic for me. Um, and okay, let's just kind of see how many, like, how many worlds we got to go through here. Okay, we got some survival worlds that we will definitely be getting into. This creative world is the one that I really want to get into. This is my main creative world, which we'll get into, like, towards the end of the video here. But okay, 13W16B, that's a snapshot. I'm guessing from 2013 because that's the date. So 13W16B, let's see. Uh, the second snapshot for Java Edition 1.6.1 released on April 23rd, 2013, which adds name tags and fixes some of the bugs and crashes in 13W16A. So April 23rd, 2013, and I opened this, I last opened this a few days after that. This is probably a world I guarantee there's going to be another one of those like worlds where I'm like, hey, this is just a bunch of new stuff in this world or in not in this world in this version of minecraft that i'm going to show you in a video that i just never made i don't know why i have so many of these but i do all right so we've got a bunch of slimes i've got three and shit what on earth was i doing here spruce planks grass block oak fence three enchanted books and a horse spawn egg uh yeah, I don't... What was I doing? Why did I create this world? It's definitely a super flat world. You can see that. Uh, and yeah, there's a bunch of slimes everywhere. Okay, pretty boring. We'll get out of that. <laughs> hey, at least that's one down. Yeah, I don't know what... Like, I guess I did that. I just made a bunch of random worlds. Like, hey, let me do this. Open this one time, lay some blocks down, and then just never open it again. Like, I don't know what that was about. Okay, teacher. 9 26 2013 i'm pretty sure i know exactly what this is this was a minecraft game called teacher where one person would kind of take on the role of the teacher and everybody else was a student and have to kind of escape from the classroom and i actually did a youtube video that is unlisted now it was me and my friends uh just playing the game you know we were playing teacher and we got into all sorts of like shenanigans and stuff it was back when i was a minecraft youtuber like I said, I have kind of told parts of this story. Um, but yeah, I, I, at one point, was making, like, strictly Minecraft videos. This is the first survival world we've taken a look at here. And yeah, oh my gosh, I remember this. This is not my world. I uh, just want to make that clear. This was something that somebody else made. I'm sure their names are, like, somewhere in here, maybe. Let's see. Um, computer room. Wood shop. I think this was the main... Yeah, this is the classroom. This is where you would start. Uh, this had command blocks, I think. A student is trying to ditch class. These are your spitballs you'd, like, throw at the teacher. <laughs> and, yeah. Oh, my gosh. This was a lot of fun. I, you know, that was one of the things that, like, got me back into really doing YouTube videos. It's crazy to think about, but I kind of owe my YouTube career, in part at least, to Minecraft, because there was a time when, uh, I guess we can kind of just run through this world a little bit more before we move on to the next one. There was a time back in 2011, early 2011, or no, no, it was like late 2011, early 2012, when I just got bored of making YouTube videos. I don't know what it was, I just kind of moved on from it. I kind of was like, I'm not going to do this anymore. Like the meme from Toy Story, I don't want to play with you anymore. It was kind of like that. Back then I was doing strictly tech videos. And then, 2012, Minecraft got super big. And a bunch of people were doing Minecraft videos. And I was like, I want to do that. And so I started doing it. I like brought back my channel. And rebranded it as a gaming channel. And I did strictly Minecraft videos with my friends for like... Probably around a year, maybe? And then, you know, I, I through that, kind of rediscovered my passion for wanting to make tech videos. And then I kind of slowly transitioned back to that. So in a way, Minecraft got me to where I am. Because, I, sure, maybe I would have picked up making videos again. But it's kind of crazy to think, like, that one decision for me to start making 
stupid Minecraft videos with my friends that were probably pretty bad compared to some of the other ones that were out there at the time. But it was just us having fun. Like, that's what we did. It, You know, it was just wanting to, like, have fun and share it with people. That's that's literally what it was because I thought it was cool. It's like, yeah, it was a lot of fun. And that got me back into making tech stuff. For a while, I was doing, like, tech videos and Minecraft videos. And then I just kind of stopped doing Minecraft stuff and then just went back to tech videos solely. And with the exception of the handful of Minecraft videos I've made over the past couple years, um, I've been doing tech videos since then. And, you know, I, I can't complain because, I mean, this is my full-time thing now, which is just awesome. And, uh, yeah, thank you guys is like the bottom line. Just thank you for, I mean, I don't know if anybody's still watching from all those years ago when I was just doing Minecraft stuff. But if you're here, like, gosh, that that's just crazy. Uh, and I, I, I hope I've been able to provide some sort of like value to, you know, whether that's entertainment or like, uh, information or, or hopefully both. I'm acting like I'm going to end the video or something, but we still have, look at all these worlds to go through. Okay. So amplified, I think this was just cause isn't there, um, let's go back to create new world here. Isn't there a more world options? I think. Uh, world type super flat yeah amplified so when this option was introduced i made this world and i called it amplified as like a joke really is that really a joke i don't know whatever i called it amplified let's just say that i don't know exactly what i did i don't know if i actually did anything i think i just made the world to just say i have an amplified world now this is probably going to be pretty boring <laughs> i feel like i keep saying that i'm sorry like i don't mean this video to be like just taking a look at these really basic worlds. Yeah, this is nothing. This is just literally, you know, a randomly generated amplified world just because. So, all right. Not uh not not super exciting. We'll just get out of that. New world, but it's not my first world named new world because you see the actual file name has a dash in it here. So, I think one of these up here is called new world yeah this one here so yeah let's just open up this one and we'll see uh we'll see what this is about i hope there's something interesting i mean with a name like new world it's probably just something i created once and then never opened again i guess just to test something maybe but let's see yeah doesn't look like much yeah we're really like we're really experiencing a lot of nostalgia in this video aren't we okay survival this is going to be exciting 1018 2014. This, I believe, was my first survival world because I got survival 2. I've got hardcore. I've got um Minecraft Survival, which this oh my gosh, was this that I think this was that. Yes, it was. I started a Minecraft survival series and I never uploaded it for some reason. I have a lot of videos. I just, for some reason, I, I, I edited the full thing. Like I have these edited videos on my hard drive. I think like two of them. And if not, at least one, I know I have at least one of these videos on my hard drive and I just never uploaded it for some reason. But yeah, I started like a Minecraft survival series and that's what this world is. And then I think I have another world named Minecraft Survival. You see these world names are confusing because these are very close in name, but I know the exclamation point. For some reason, I vividly remember that being in the title of the world I did the survival series in. So yeah, you've got that, and then I think there's one up here, Snow Survival, which is actually a renamed... We'll come back to this. If you recognize SPC, oh, you're a, you're a veteran Minecraft player, my friend. Um, but okay, let's just check out Survival. Oh my gosh, is this it? No way. Is this it? I actually don't think this is not the one I was thinking of. The one I was thinking of, I had like a but this this is this is coming back to me. Why did I make this in here with like no sunlight? I guess I didn't really know how like to optimize farming. Is there even water? I I, I guess there is. There has to be water under here, right? Okay, yeah, there is water under there. I was like, okay, that, that would be really bad if there was no... Although it wouldn't even be really be growing at all. But yeah, um, so I have like an indoor farm here. This furnace is... It, it was left running, so it's starting to uh, 
Oh yeah, look at that. Make all this stone. Okay, let's just quickly patch up these uh these blocks here. Looks like we'll have to eat some food as well. So yeah, this I think this was my first proper survival world in single player. And this is like a, a little access hole I made. To, was this a strip mine or was this... I think this was like... Well, you see this is a bit of a cave system here. Yeah. Although, is this going to be a dead end? Or no, I see some cobblestone. I hear some lava. This is a bit of a cave system. But yeah, oh my gosh, man. That is a... Uh, this is slowly coming back to me. I'm trying... To, this is not the survival world I remember the most. The one I remember the most is I was... I built my house in the side of a mountain. Which I, I loved to do, by the way. You can see this one here. I, like, built it in the side of this, like... Uh, this hill, if we go out here. And I, I probably placed some blocks, so it probably looks kind of artificial. But, yeah, I just kind of... Or no, I guess that, that, that looks pretty good. So, yeah, I just built it in the side of this hill here. And, uh, yeah, I, I just really liked doing that. I thought it was always a neat, it kind of just hides your, your house in an existing uh, structure. But, yeah, the one I remember the most is I was in the side of a mountain. I had uh, a dog, and I had a door kind of like this that would lead to a cave system. But I think this was my first proper survival world. Um, judging from this really awesome farm that I have here, uh, so, yeah, that's that's kind of cool. I don't think there's much else to say about this. Let's just go out here a little bit. Maybe there's something up here. Um, see, I got all the way to iron tools, so not not super far. But, uh, yeah. Haven't really done much out here. No, uh, no, no captured mobs or anything. No, like, animal farms. Do I even have diamonds at all? Let's see. I've got one diamond. Man. And... Got your crafting bench. I guess before I realized you could put crafting benches in the floor. Because I, I did that all the time. See, I put the furnace in the wall, though. Um... But okay, let's uh, quit out of here. So, Survival 2. What is this? 10, 18, 20, 14. So, actually, this might be the world. Let's see. Okay, this is definitely not the world I was thinking of, because this is, uh... This is, like, what on earth? Okay, I got leather armor. I don't have a full set of iron tools. Um... What was I doing here? I guess I just started another survival world for no reason, maybe? I guess I dug straight to... Oh, my God. Oh, no. All right. <laughs> well... Uh, our first death of the day. I don't know actually where I am. I think I just lost... Uh, I think I just lost the house where I was at. That's really fun. So yeah, this I, I definitely did not get very far in this world. But okay, we're just going to quit out of that one. I'm trying to find this one. I, I know I know exactly... Like, I have a vivid picture of it in my mind. Um, it might be... I know it's not this one. It might be. It might be this one. It might be this one here. But okay, hardcore. So, this is a hardcore world that I have not died in yet. Maybe we'll change that today. No, I really hope we don't. Because I, I don't want to have to lose this world. Okay. Okay. So, we've got full set of iron armor. We got almost all, or I guess half iron tools. Or not half. Some, we, we've got a couple iron tools here. Um... Some raw pork chop, some steak, cooked pork chop, and a lot of pork chop. And, eh, yeah, we're definitely early on. We got a saddle, though. That's nice. Um, Not really the most luxurious house, but, hey, it, it works. It's a bed to sleep at night. And we got a... I, I guess I probably made this to, like, kind of be able to tell where my home base was from far away. Just look for the... I mean, I know you can take the uh, coordinates, but just to kind of have, like, another way to see uh, where... I mean, it's not a super tall structure, but that's, I assume, what I was trying to do there. Have a little, like, beacon before beacons were a thing, because I'm pretty sure I made this world before beacons were a thing. And even if beacons were a thing, there's no way I, that, I, that I have one right now. I don't know, I guess I just got a lot of boring worlds for some reason. 
All right, we'll quit out of that. So those are some survival worlds. I think the next one, is it a survival world? I did not, I did not see. Let's check that out. Okay. Mushroom survival mode, 12-30-2014. So I was probably playing this like over Christmas break. Yeah, this is in a mushroom biome. Um, I think for whatever reason, I wanted a world where I made a house in a mushroom biome. Uh, or, or is it even called a mushroom biome? Yeah, mushroom fields, okay. Um, yeah, I just wanted, like, a, a house in a mushroom biome, so I just made a world to do that. You see, like, I don't know what, like, what was I, what was I thinking? Like, I could just go to a mushroom biome in another world. Why do I need to make a whole world just to have a house in a mushroom biome? I don't know what I was really, what was really going through my brain at that moment, but whatever. I promise you, there are some exciting ones. I might have to like separate this video into chapters and say like, these are the boring worlds and these are the more exciting ones. Cause like this here, all these creative worlds, this one, these are gonna be a lot more exciting cause they're a lot more developed. I've built far more things in them, but okay. So we got 1.5 intro and 1.5 intro two. This is the video that I specifically was thinking of. Um, that I actually recorded and edited of like going over the new things in Minecraft 1.5 and then I just never uploaded it for some reason. I don't know why, but I never did. This is going to be on a sand, yep, it's going to be on a sandstone or not, I mean, it, you know, yeah, sandstone. It's going to be on a, on a sandstone, like super flat world and let's just, uh, time set zero. Um... And so it's basically just like I have all these little stations with new things that were added. So redstone blocks. We've got the hopper. Gosh, this is back when the hopper was added. We've got the droppers and the difference between them and a the dispenser. We've got redstone comparators. We've got uh, trap chests. We've got uh, improved naming. Um, this, I believe, was the ability to... Uh, name I, I i think you could name more items that's what it was with anvils like i could bring in you know i could bring a hopper into an anvil and then rename it whatever i want uh, i think that's what i was showcasing there minecart with hopper those were or that was a new item and here's the minecart with tnt that's when this was added here so this is what i was demoing in this world um you got snow can now be layered um, mobs will not walk over rails. I specifically remember this because the intro scene of the video was me saying mobs will not walk over rails as a cow walked over the rail. It was so, it was, I, I guess some sort of bug or something, but it was hilarious. Um, I, I just found it super funny. So I just made that like the little intro scene before my actual intro played back when I had like an intro which was just somebody's After Effects template that I modified. Weighted pressure plates, they were added. Uh, improved inventory management. Uh, daylight sensors. Gosh, all this stuff just seems like so commonplace now. But this was back when it was brand new. So yeah, that's that world. And then the, the two is just the same world, I think. With I mean, we can just open it up here. Why not? Oh no, this was before I even laid down anything. Okay, I don't know. Whatever, we're going to move on from that. Okay, Minecraft survival with an exclamation point. This was the one that I did a YouTube survival series with. Yep, I remember this. This was like the beginning. I think that I, I think I only recorded episode one actually, because I think what I did is I, I just gathered a bunch of materials and then I found this like makeshift, uh, well, this cave system here that I made into a house. You see, I don't even have a door. I just, uh, I just literally like barricaded myself in here so that I would be protected from mobs. And although mobs, well, mobs could have spawned in here, but they couldn't really get up here. And do I even have a bed? I don't even have a bed. I guess I just like lived, yeah, just, you know, lived through the night, stayed up. Because uh, this was before, um, by the way, when, you know, you, you had to sleep um, or those whatever, those annoying phantom things, whatever they are, would uh, show up. This was long before that was added in. And I honestly like it much better because, I mean, yeah, it is a little bit more realistic, I guess, that, you know, you have to sleep now in the game or something annoying will happen. Uh, kind of makes the game a little more realistic. Um... But it, it, it was nice just kind of when sleep was optional, when you could sleep to make it daytime if you wanted to. But if you wanted to kind of live through the night and try and survive, uh, 
you could you could do that uh, without really having to worry about that. I mean, you can still do that today, but just it, it's after so many nights when the phantom things, whatever they are, will start appearing. But yeah, this is uh, you got some chest. I, I have some chest. I have a chest here with some stuff inside, and then I think up here. Let's just mine this, or not mine, but but break all this. Yeah, this is the outside world that I protected myself from. So, yeah, nothing... Oh, yeah, I made a map. This was one of the only worlds where I actually used a map. I, for some reason, just never used this at all. Uh, and then I kind of discovered how useful they can be. And so I, I made one in this world. I think it was one of the first worlds, if not the first world, that I used the map in. Yeah, all right, another pretty boring world. We'll just get out of that. <laughs> I think we're slowly getting into some more exciting stuff here. Let's see. Okay, 1.6. Creative World 2 should be pretty exciting. Let's see what 1.6 is. This is probably going to be another, like, item demonstration thing. Um... Nether. Okay. I'm in the Nether. I guess this was just me messing around with... I don't know, is this like an item? No, there's no item demo thing set up. I guess this was just a world I created when 1.6 came out. I had a habit of doing that for some reason. Like, I would make a new world when certain... Like, not... I didn't do it with every version, but sometimes I would just be like, oh, a new version came out, let me make a new world, and then not do anything with it. I just literally opened the world. Boring! Let's get out of that. <laughs> I promise you guys there's gonna be some exciting stuff. Just stick with me. Uh, and if you're actually watching this far into this video, holy crap, thank you. I, I hope you found this somewhat entertaining. <laughs> okay, so now we're getting into... I think that was the last world that did not have a thumbnail here. So, you can see this one was opened in 2018. So we got... So these were some worlds that I've played, you know, more recently than all those other worlds. And I guess there's a reason why I never opened those up back in 2018, 2019, 2020 because they were all kind of boring, or they just were like, uh, like I mean, I kind of knew what some of them, like, oh, this is going to be like one of those demo worlds, no reason to open that. So, okay, I guess this is where the video, like, actually kind of begins. I, <laughs> I'm sorry, I did not mean for that to be as boring as it was, but okay. Creative World 2. This was my second Creative World. Don't know when I actually created it. Oh, yeah, we're going to, okay. Um... You can see I last played it on February 11th, 2018. How are these all opened at the same... Like, 2.54, 2.54 p.m., 2.56, 3.04, 3.12, 3.14, like, within minutes of each other. There's no way... Actually, you know what? I think I remember doing that, because I think I was looking for a specific world or something back then. I don't know why. But you know what? I'm not going to question it. Let's just play Creative World 2. Oh my gosh, I remember this! No way! No way, this is the one with the minecart track. Oh my gosh. Now this is, okay, this is bringing back some memories for me. So you can see uh, we've got the wonderful door glitch here. Uh, these iron doors were supposed to be right next to each other, and this was my, uh, you know, fireplace thing here. This world I built, we'll just go out here. Let me just, well, let's just take this, uh, this was... Before you can hold W on a minecart, so you'd have to push it. That's why all these uh, rails are powered rails. Um, and okay, so this stops me here. And then you get rid of your... Oh, wait a second, isn't... Oh no, yeah, that's, that's meant to be that way. Okay, so this is another stop. Stop to beach house. Okay, so this world is built on this, like, island here. I think this might have been... Maybe this was a seed, I don't know. But this is... An island. I mean, it is obviously every Minecraft world has a seed, but I don't know if I like manually put this seed in or if this was just like a random world um, that just coincidentally was like an island. But what I did is I built these like separate areas pretty much. Like this is a beach house. This is like my main house. I had that area we spawned in was like a uh, like like a safe shelter area, and then this over here is I don't remember what that is. I think that might be is is that the mine maybe. I don't know, we'll have to go there, but yeah, I basically interconnected it with this minecart rail system. I interconnected all these homes together. So this here in my beach house, oh my gosh, I remember this was the way that I would make like a TV. I would use obsidian block, just surrounded by bookcases. 
Uh, looks kind of ugly, but that's how I would like mimic a, like, oh, this is a TV. Um, and then I've got like some, we've got a cauldron here, got a brewing stand, crafting table, got a chest, an iron block there for the brewing stand to sit on, got a chest and a furnace, and then this down here you would go down. Uh, really, pff, not not really the greatest like system here. You just go down and you're right on the. I think I think I designed it to have like the minecart right here, so you'd get in the minecart. Whoops, gosh, I'm used to survival mode there. Having to hit the minecart multiple times. Uh, so then I go in here, and then I guess was there not a button here? There should be a button to like activate this track. Uh, I can just hold W and just go, but I think maybe I broke the uh, button off at some point. Um. But yeah, this will take you all the way through here over to the home, the main home, which, yeah, I remember this. So again, we got that glitched out iron door thing going on. Actually, a glitched out door going on here. All the doors will be like this. Cause this is just what happens with these older worlds. This, there's a couple glitches. Uh, that will that will happen when it when it converts it to the new world type. This is a fish tank here. You can see I kind of upped my uh, my style here. It looks much better than that TV. Got some beds here, crafting table. The same setup as over in the beach house, but out here I've got like a farm. And of course, this is just pretty much all for show. But let's go back in here. Let's set the time to zero actually. And let's go back in here and take our um, let's take our minecart. I don't know why I didn't have the. Uh, I should have a button to like launch it, but okay. So this, I'm trying to think here, because this should take me. Oh yeah, I was going backwards. That's right. This was made to be like a one-way thing. So this is stop number two. So we're starting at one, going to two. Now we'll go back to three. So we'll just hold W here to just let's do that, and. This will bring us back to the safe house. I think I had like a thing of tools stored in here. Again, just for show, all for show. Um, so there you go, safe house, shelter, nothing really. Actually, I have nothing in here at all. And then this is to the mine, which is stop number four. So we'll, uh, oh, I guess I need to, to just get out of that and like, why did I do this? Because how on earth, yeah, I did not think of that at all. How on earth would you get up here? You need to have, like, momentum, like, from coming down to be able to get up here. So that was a major oversight. I wasn't really uh, thinking that one through. But, yeah, this will take you to the mine. Which is down here. Extend track is needed. Stop for mine. Be safe and ready to mine. Like, I was kind of, you know, simulating, like, this is a community where people live, and all the miners would come down here, extend the track as needed, and read this sign to be safe, so they would be safe, and we'd go down, and, you know, you see, I didn't really do much mining here at all. Again, creative mode, but, you know, you, you, you get the point. Uh, so then, going back, I think you would go up here, and, uh... Or maybe not, because how would you... This would just take you back to the safe house. That's the safe house right there. Um, I think this was maybe supposed to be... What does this sign say? There was a sign like over here. I think this is... Do not enter abandoned mine track dead ends. Okay, so yeah, that's my little creative uh, world number two. Though I don't know what... Let me go back up here and let's see what... Uh, Okay, so this is home. What was this thing that I made? This, like, underground tunnel thing. Like, what was I going for with here? It's definitely not the mine, so what was this? Okay. So we got some note blocks here. A checkered pattern floor. And then this that, yeah, it goes all the way underwater. But why did I do this? Where did this go to? Was there a purpose for this? Oh, yeah, it was supposed to, like, connect here, I guess. But this was, like, I get, was this before I knew how, like, switching rails worked? With, like, you know, how you could switch rails with a lever? Because this just, I mean, this, this ain't going to work at all. So let's get out of that. And what was the next one? Minecraft survival. Okay, I think this is the one I was talking about with the house in the side of the mountain. Oh man, yep, this is the one. 
This is the one with my dog or wolf, I guess you would say, because it is a wolf technically. And let me quickly change the time to uh, day here. Oh no, I don't have cheats on in this world. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. Okay, I mean, I've got diamond armor, so I'll be fine, but I think I'm just going to like block up this door for now. Uh, just so the zombies don't break it down. Um, you see, I just got the achievements, Stone Age. This was before, like, achievements were... I mean, I think there were still achievements back then. Yeah, there there were still achievements, but it, it was before it would, like, announce it in, in chat. I think it would just show... I think it would show up on screen, though. Yeah, it, yeah, it would show up up here as, like, a notification, but not in the chat. And I think the achievements, like, reset at some point. Uh, at least for these worlds. Like, I mean, maybe when they converted to that new format. But anyways... So at this point, I was starting to get into some brewing. Uh, got a bunch of random stuff here. I have an enchantment table. I have a jukebox as well. So yeah, I definitely uh, definitely got some diamonds. And I think this right here is, yeah, just a useless redstone contraption that uses a sticky piston to pop out a crafting table. Um, I think, you know what? I think I made this when I started, like, getting into doing stuff with redstone because that became one of my favorite things to do in minecraft honestly it was just a lot of fun uh just you know making contraptions with redstone i watched a handful of idea videos some of my friends who kind of knew more stuff about redstone than i did at the time kind of helped me out with making certain things and it was just a lot of fun and i i wouldn't really say i'm like a, i was a pro at doing redstone stuff because there's some really clever things that people have made but I mean I like to think that I was pretty good at it I, I made all sorts of stuff in fact uh, one of these worlds that we'll take a look at a little bit later on I believe was like dedicated to redstone contraptions and things so that'll be neat to look at but yeah so this is here we got a furnace I've got all sorts of stuff in this chest here and this right here is the mine shaft or at least just kind of a, you know, cave system here that I just went through all in, you know, different directions here. You saw there was a path up there. There's this patch of grass here. You know, I remember this. This is like slowly starting to come back to me. You know, what? It, it's crazy what the brain remembers sometimes. Like for some reason, I specifically remember in this world, I was going through mining listening to the final countdown <laughs> i don't know why i remember this so specifically and my family that night we were going to a concert or or something i i, I forget exactly what it was but it was like an event that maybe like somebody's graduation or something i don't know but it was like a whole event where my entire family we were all going and i was like kind of just getting in some last minute minecraft enjoying life i don't know it's just for some reason i specifically remember that um, let me just, let me eat here. Gotta get some steak in. And yeah, this right here is my dog that I found and trained, and I just had him sit here next to the jukebox. And he's been sitting there all these years, just hanging out. So yeah, that's my little survival world here. Uh, I mean, I'm definitely, this is the, the one that I am the furthest along in the game in so far. Um... You know, I've got, like, diamond tools here, some diamond tools, full set of diamond armor. Uh, and, yeah, just kind of all, just got all, all sorts of stuff here. Um, yeah, alright, let's go ahead and quit out of that. Okay, so next up is New World. <laughs> so this is the original New World. Yeah, this world, there literally doesn't appear to be anything in here. This is just, like, a new world that I created, and it's just, like, <laughs> there's nothing here, so we'll just quit out of it flat grass this is the one that i was talking about this is i just made a bunch of contraptions basically uh some with redstone i think some just kind of cool things to look at i mean we'll we'll you know open this up and check it out this i believe i actually created using a modified world like this was before i think you could make super flat worlds i think this was or maybe it wasn't We'll be able to see because the super flat worlds will only go down like three or four blocks. So, of course, it is raining. Let's go down here. Oh, yeah, this is 100% a uh, modified, like, MC edited flat world that I downloaded. Anyways, let's set the time to zero and the weather to clear. And we'll uh, 
take a look at some of this stuff here. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, I remember this. Obsolete like the start button in Windows 8. Nether base. Okay, I forget what was the what was the reasoning behind this? I, I forget what it was, but this was an inside joke between me and my friends. Obsolete like the start button in Windows 8. That dates this world. Oh my gosh, guys. Easily 2012, 2013. Definitely, I'd say definitely before 2013, because this is when Windows 12 launched, and you know, the big controversy was it removed the start button, which pissed a lot of people off, and so me and my friends came up with this kind of inside joke that we would say whenever something was like changed, like a feature was taken out, we would say, oh, it's obsolete like the start button in Windows 8, it was kind of like a little tiny joke there, so there was something, I guess, about making a nether base that, uh, that was obsolete or that we thought was obsolete. I don't know. I can't really remember what specifically it was. Maybe somebody in the comments will. Uh, like 2012 Nether stuff. Was there anything that changed? Uh, I don't know. But yeah, that's the little inside joke there. Um, and yeah, this was like one of my favorite worlds to mess around in because it was just like a sandbox. I mean, well, Minecraft is a sandbox, but this was more of like a just this wide open space where you could build just whatever I wanted and kind of mess around with ideas. This is a TNT shield, which is a really basic, just it runs down here, you flick this lever, got this redstone line that would go to TNT and then TNT would blow up and break definitely part of the <laughs> part of the redstone line. Um, this over here, I don't know what exactly this is. Um, we have TNT in these dispensers. What was I trying to do here? Oh, well... <laughs> oh, I think... You know what? I think we were... I think this was a TNT cannon. I think I think that's actually what this was. Let me see, because I think you would like... I think you would put TNT here, and then you would like... Get in here. And then it would like... Bring you down here. Yeah, that's kind of what it was. I think this was a really janky, like, TNT cannon. Oh, you're supposed to press buttons. I think there was a... I think there was a redstone line at one point. But I don't know, let's see. Yeah, I think I was trying to build some sort of TNT cannon here. Which, this is definitely not, like, the way I would do it now. Um, but at the time, I guess I thought that was the, that was one of the, the best ways to do it, or the only way I knew how. This here is, oh yes, this is an automatic cobblestone generator that I forget, I think it's like turned off or something. I know there's something with the, what, what, what is this? Hi. Does that? No, I don't know what this does. I heard those pistons. I heard those pistons. I don't know what they do. We're going to have to figure this out. But yeah, this here, if I just break in here. Um, this was... Basically, it's supposed to be generating... Like I think it's just like a, like a block error there. No, not that. I need to go like this. There we go. There we go. Maybe. I think maybe the piston needs to be delayed a bit more. Yep, it just needed more time, that's all. So it just generates cobblestone and pushes it out. And you would, uh, you know, assuming you're in survival mode, you just mine it and you'd get cobblestone. And of course, right here it's going to stop because it doesn't have anywhere else to go. But yeah, this is one of the neat little things that I... Uh, that I, I'm pretty sure I didn't come up with this. I'm sure that, like, I saw it on on YouTube or something. I mean, well, obviously. I'm not saying I created the idea of an auto-cobble generator, but I'm sure this design was, like, based on something that I saw. Like, somebody else's design that I kind of modified a little bit. Or maybe I did just come up with it on my own. I don't know. But whatever. I, I, I would highly doubt that because I, I did just kind of... Sometimes, not all the time, but there were sometimes I would just like recreate things that I saw people build online because I thought it was cool. Um, and then you get stuff like this. It's just really basic stuff like this mini bridge that just opens uh, or pops these glass panels out. You can see sticky pistons through there just to kind of get across here. Although you can just jump across. But that was a pretty terrible jump. You can just jump right across. 
do some super speed run strats, man. Um, so it's kind of redundant, but it's just something cool that I built, or that I guess I thought was cool. I don't know what this does. I'm trying to... Oh, that's what it does! I didn't even see that. How did I not see... Like, I guess I was looking like this when I turned it on. But yeah, that pops out the word hi. That's a neat little thing I made. I think that was just like a late night idea. I was like, yeah, I'll make the word hi pop out of the ground. So it's just with sticky pistons, obviously. So yeah, that's the, that's the cobble generator. This here is a bridge, which is just over this lava moat here, which I think I actually extended um, because, yeah, because that's definitely a wider, like, yeah, like, that was extended, the uh, lava was extended by a couple blocks, because, you know, I can't just make this jump here. So, it was definitely extended for the purpose of this bridge here. But again, doesn't make any sense, because you can just go like this, whee, and just jump across. Of course, you can fly across, because we're in creative mode, but this is like assuming you'd be in survival mode. This was kind of like my creative world to build things that I could then... Uh, rebuild in a in, in a survival world and some stuff like this diamond thing over here is just kind of useless but it looks cool this is a diamond block quote-unquote generator which is just basically a bunch of pistons pushing diamond blocks around and giving it the illusion that uh, you know it's it's being generated when it's actually just the same blocks if we go in here I'll kind of show you it, it, it's really basic so, it just, uh, it's just a couple pistons just pushing a thing of diamond blocks around. That's it. Nothing, nothing really special at all. But again, one of those things that I kind of thought would, like if I, like if I break these, you'll, you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. It's just, <laughs> it's just pushing it around. This here is a trap. It's a trap. Uh... So yeah, you got your... I, I always love doing these these doors. These were like my favorite things to build. These doors that would like... The pistons would pull it in. And then you'd have two sets of pistons on the sides that would pull the door out. And the pistons, obviously, that were controlling the uh, these two. I always loved doing that. And this, I think, you would just like press this and... Uh, yeah, you'd press this, you'd get over here. And then, oh yeah, this is a... Pull to get out! And then you stand here and then you just fall to your death. Um... Which, actually, wow, I just dug this. I think this is straight down to the void, isn't it? Yep, it's straight down to the void. And oh, look at that. It got some lava peeking out right there. So, I guess that's another... Oh yeah, I must have dug straight down there. What? Well, let's see what's up here. So yeah, that's my really ingenious trap, guys. I'm totally gonna fool people with that. Oh my gosh. So, yeah, this, uh... What is this? I don't think this is much of anything. Wait a minute. Um, okay. Let me, I, I think I, I may know how to get down here. This is definitely underground, but let me just, like, get back up here. Okay. So, yeah, it's, it, it's this. It's the safe house. So that was the, the really ingenious trap there. This is an alarm that I created, which is just some note blocks that go off. Yeah, I think that's kind of neat. So you got this really rapid pulsing uh, repeater set up here. Yeah, these two pistons here that are controlled by this lever that causes the signal to, uh, you know, get cut off, which was a really great way to uh, make like a switch when you had something that was rapidly, like, always on, but you wanted to switch to, like, interrupt the signal. Gosh, what is it with the weather, man? What is it with the weather, man? He's always wrong. Okay. Um, yeah, really, really awesome joke there. Okay, safe house. Let's just move on and transition to that really, uh, really nicely. Um, so yeah, the safe house was just a door that would open. You got your classic, uh, you'd drown if you're in survival mode, um, elevator here. And then you'd go down... And here, here you are. You use this. Now, this did not open because I didn't have this configured properly to where you could control it from this side. Um, I know how to make that work now, but at the time I did not. 
And actually, I would just use a, a T flip flop and just use buttons instead of levers. Um, but at the time, I didn't know what that was. So this is what I came up with, um, which is basically like, I believe it's um, like this one, basically, if this one is, you know, pushing this forward, then this lever just doesn't do anything from the way it's wired. Um, let's see here. Let me go back here and see what this is doing. Because yeah, this when it's triggered, um, is yeah, it just runs right down here to the lever. So then the lever, when you try to do anything, it's it's not going to do anything because it's still getting signal from this lever over here. So yeah, and then same, you know, vice versa as well. If I flick this one, then I can't you know do this here. I mean, sure, I can turn it on and have it send a signal through from that lever, but it's not going to turn this one off over here. So yeah, that was my uh, that was my little way of doing that. So which I mean, realistically, you'd only have one of these pulled at one time. So you know, it doesn't really affect anything. It's just if you somehow are like in here, and you decide to use that lever to close the door, then well, you're going to be screwed if you're in survival mode, of course. Um, but okay, let's get back up here. Let's uh, get out of that. So that's that safe house that we broke into. We took a look at that, 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 uh, this here. And what is this? It's another trap. Okay. So. Okay. We got a timed uh, piston thing there. And then. Again, what on earth? Like, that's so boring. You just run on a pressure plate that you can clearly see. I mean, you can see that I, I didn't put any torches in here. So the hope was like, you're going to run and go, oh, no, I just fell. And you probably wouldn't die, actually. Did I not? I did not finish building this or just digging down. That's funny. Yeah. So, okay. We'll uh, put that up there. Yeah, I, li I literally did not finish digging that all the way down to the void. So you wouldn't actually die if you fell in. Um, but we'll close that up. So that's another really boring trap. It sounds like there's zombies inside of here, too. And this, I think, is one of the coolest things in here. It is the spiral door which I definitely got from some idea video. And it's just one of these that, you know, the pistons come in, like it just has each, uh, you know, a piston behind all these blocks and it makes this nice kind of spiral effect. Um, they are timed, eh, the timing's a little bit off. The one thing that I'm missing obviously is the center one, which you would usually have like a piston come up from here and then push the block out. I guess I didn't know how to do that at the time. I don't know, but okay, in here we've got the main breaker room. That's a, this is a reference to Portal, I think. Yes, it is. Portal 2, when you and Wheatley go into, like, the main breaker room. Why can't I remember what Wheatley says after that? Gosh, it's been a while since I played Portal 2. Yeah, Portal 2 was, like, one of my favorite games at this time that I played pretty regularly as well. So I kind of incorporated uh, Portal 2 references into uh some of these worlds and you'll probably see a few more of those as we go through here so yeah the main breaker room you'd open this up and go down and this was just <laughs> it's just like first of all there's not even any light down here let's get a torch um we get a torch here and put that up yeah this is just like a bunch of pistons that i don't know look kind of cool they don't actually do anything they're not wired at all um, I think it actually would have been nice. Maybe I intended to, like, have these pistons just constantly pulsing, like, on and off to, like, make it seem like, oh, yeah, there's some stuff going on down here, man. Of course, it'd be really freaking loud, but, you know, it, it would be kind of cool, I guess. So, yeah, that's what this is. Uh, I like to do in the uh, glowstone accent on, like, the exterior of the room. Or not the exterior of the room, the, like, the, you know, the furthest sides to the wall at this point. So, yeah, that's what that is. We'll get out of here. We'll get out of here. <laughs> Looks like it's raining again. And yeah, we'll close up the spiral door. And I think that's it. Uh, that is everything in here. Uh, yeah. So there you go. Or wait a second. What was this? Oh, this is all the redstone. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is all the redstone. Why did I make this? This is, like, way larger than it has to be. Uh, but this is just for that little secret door. This is a massive false wall. Because the, the room in the bedroom ends, like, right here. Right, this is the wall. And I got this entire, like, larger room behind here that I hit all the redstone in. Yeah, I would definitely be able to make this far more compact now. But, 
and it's kind of neat to see what you used to do, you know, and kind of go, uh, go back and look at it and critique it and kind of be like, oh, I would have done this differently now. But yeah, that's the, yeah, that was the world I was talking about. I, I spent a lot of time in that. Maybe not a lot of time because it's not super developed, but it's definitely neat to go look back in. My parkour map. Oh yeah, and here's another piston slash redstone world. Okay, so I think this was at a time when I thought making a parkour map would be cool. So I decided to try making one myself. And I think I actually got somewhat far in this thing i think i actually kind of built this yeah look at this so let's set the time to zero and let's just make the weather i guess the weather is already clear but we'll just weather clear and yeah there we go so level one basic jump so you can see yeah it's kind of you know we got a lot of stuff going on we got some stuff going on up here some glass pane jumps uh, that's probably a ladder jump over there and i think i actually labeled all them with levels so over here is welcome to map name here rules you're not allowed to break blocks Two, nothing so yeah i guess i only had one rule and i was trying to think of some other stuff and just blanked uh but really what other rules do you need for a parkour map i mean you're not allowed to break blocks that's it if you're taking the challenge seriously you won't be like oh i'm just gonna fly around because it doesn't say i can't do that in the rules so yeah, but you can see I've got like a couple things in here. I've got uh, the glass blocks, the glass panes from the pane jumps over there, signs, like like stuff I was using to actually build the, uh, the, the map. And I think this here, yeah, this was if you fell. See, I, I actually made it to where like if you fell here, it was like, oh, then you can just go over here. And follow this sign to get back up top and you would use this to you know go up here and then just go back through the gate so i actually had it to where even if you fell assuming you were doing this in survival mode which you know what let's change the game mode to survival so that we can kind of do this uh, as i intended it to be done so level one basic jumps see how good i am at parkour i haven't done this in a while jump down okay simple enough let's go up some ladders got some iron block jumps here let's see if i can do this in one nope i can't okay yeah these aren't really difficult jumps either come on you can do it yeah there we go Ooh, that was kind of close yeah I, I used to i used to love doing parkour especially in like servers you would go on like those uh you know all those like mini game servers like there were there was high pixels obviously one of the big ones but there were a bunch of other ones uh, they were not as large as Hypixel that I would go on. And some of them would have, like, as you were waiting for a game to start, not really for a game to start, but, like, you'd be waiting in the lobby for, like, your, your friends to join the server or something, and they'd have, like, a little parkour thing you could, you could do just the past time. It was fun. So, yeah, I kind of failed that one there. But yeah, one of my friends, man, on, uh, on on his server, you guys should see this parkour map that we built. This was back in uh, probably like 2014. We spent a lot of time putting together this uh, this really big parkour. Not a not a map. It was like on his his uh, server was just one single world. But yeah, we spent a decent amount of time creating this this parkour building. We called it, and it was a lot of fun. And I think actually some of this is is taken as like inspiration from what we did in that uh, world or in that server because I specifically remember a jump like this. So let's try to jump through the door. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. I made that to like make it a little more difficult. Like this is actually a pretty, I don't know how challenging, it's somewhat challenging this jump because if you jump too late, you'll just hit the, uh, the block up there and you won't make it through the door. So you have to time your jump really well. Like, you almost have to... Yeah, you gotta jump, like, right as you're jumping off the uh, gold block there. So, we'll close that. Oh, yeah, this was supposed to be opening and closing. That's right. Yeah. All right, let's go back here, because I, I want to do that legit. So, yeah, it was... The door was supposed to be closing, opening and closing like this to add a, another aspect of the challenge. So, you gotta time your jump here. Oh, that was really bad. It's like right as it closes, you have to start. That was way too late. No, that's too early, I think. 
Oh my gosh. I am determined to do this jump, man. Holy crap. Am I doing it too early or like... Oh, wow. Holy crap. I was just doing a test jump there to like see if I was jumping from the gold block too early or too late. But that was... Oh my gosh. That was some pro moves right there. No, that was... That was pretty lucky. But yeah, that's what you do. So that you would get in, you'd flip this to stop the annoyance, and then you'd move on. You got some more block jumps here. You see the ladder. Well, it looks like we're going to have to use the ladder here to get back up. So... Yeah, I definitely like how I uh, how I did this. Of course, I didn't really think to separate this area because that right there is a get back up from the bottom for this section over here. Although, no, yeah, that's... No. That's what that door is for. I think there's a lever on the other side that you can flick to open the door to like unlock this checkpoint kind of thing. Dang, I put a lot of work into this. Okay, let's... Uh, I kind of thought of everything. Okay, so... Oh boy, here's the jump around to catch the ladder jump. Oh man. And then you gotta go back here. Yeah, this is just, this is cool to go through, man. Oh my gosh. I mean, it's cool for me. Like I said, I don't know how, how exciting this is for you guys, but if you're still watching like this late into the video, I really appreciate it because, uh, well, this is, this is a lot of fun for me, and if you guys get something out of it, I think that's pretty cool. Even if it's just listening to me ramble on about Minecraft for however long this video is going to be. It's going to be at least over an hour, I'm sure. Um, so yeah, we're up here, and you got the glass pane run. Okay, so let's, uh, let's try this out. Oh yeah, this I, I think was definitely in my friend's Minecraft server. So... We're just kind of walking through it here, but the idea was that you you run to add a bit of a, a challenge. Assuming you were, like, timing yourself with this, right? Yeah, flip for checkpoint right here. So this now unlocks this checkpoint down here. Uh, so if I fell, I could easily get back up. So, glass pane jumps number two. This with the glass blocks instead of gold blocks. So they're a little bit harder to see. So let's uh, try that. And let's try that. Nope. And... Yeah, I definitely need to add, um, I'll just go back into creative mode here. I definitely needed to add, um, that's not what I want to do. I thought you could, like, go through there. Creative. Uh, I definitely needed to add, like, a water, um, puddle underneath there so that you can actually not die when you fall. So, yeah, because if you're in creative, you can just fly back up, right? That obviously defeats the purpose of it. But, you know, you could play this in creative and just do it on the honor system and just be like, I'm not going to just fly back up to the end if, you know, I, I fall. And that was, it's kind of how it's designed, you know, if you're doing parkour stuff, it's not really designed for you to like try to break it. Although I'm sure people do. Um, so yeah, we flip that. Gosh, this freaking weather, man. Hook jumps too, so this is kind of just jumping up, and although it's it's pretty, it's not like hooking onto the ladder. You're just kind of like going up. Uh, this would be far more challenging if it was like you you had to jump around and catch the ladder. Um, but this is just like trying to get on this top part of the ladder, which I really liked these jumps as well. Um, at least in terms of putting them into like the the parkour stuff that we did. Like I think the thing on my friend server has like a ton of these because I put a bunch of them in or one of us did so anyways here we are up here and I think we just oh we just go jump on these blocks okay see if I can do this without falling oh no all right so then you would have to go back up here and you'd have to start over doing these jumps again we'll cheat a little bit because I'm not taking this super seriously I know I just kind of said I don't really want to cheat on this thing, but, uh, eh, whatever. <laughs> um, all right, trap door jump. So the idea was you lower the trap door, jump, and then jump up. So really, really basic. And then I think you, you just go on this side here. So yay. We're going to do this somewhat legit. And then you're up here, and then you got diamond blocks to jump on. And this one, you'd have to catch the ladder. Level 11. Dang. Okay. Ladder parkour. So, yeah, this is having to, like, actually jump out and, and catch the ladder, which is a can be pretty challenging to do here. So, let's just kind of 
do that and then no but yeah that's that's what you do you just kind of try to get up here jump over didn't really think that part through you can just jump on top i think there's something in this chest here hi in enchanted golden apples oh look at that so i had that there as like a bit of an easter egg and then we got these jumps here did i actually finish this map i mean this is this is definitely a bit of a longer map than i thought let's see if this is okay so you get over here and then you'd have to jump and kind of time your your jumps again so you don't hit this top block which wow that was perfect okay and then you get up here you get over here let's try that again there we go and yeah it looks like i didn't finish it because i i was gonna go on from here i mean there's no like sign or anything that says oh this is done thanks for playing but yeah gosh i put more work into this than i think i did got this random grass block up here i guess to kind of like stand on to observe the beautiful parkour map that i made um so yeah there it is that is map name here what a what a fantastic name guys so next up is the piston slash redstone world this is I, I think kind of a smaller version of that world we were just in i know this is not a flat world i'm pretty sure there's going to be snow around i think i'm in a snow biome and i think i only made a couple things in here i think this was like right when i first discovered like what you can do with a redstone because for the longest time i thought that redstone was just like a useless ore and that redstone torches were just darker torches i don't know somebody told me or when i i realized like by watching someone's video i was like oh you can do all this cool stuff with it it's like electrical wiring and you can make all sorts of cool contraptions and stuff so this world was i think the first thing that i created and made a few basic like pop out piston things like a door here and then this is there's nothing back here let's set the time set zero you know what did i make anything in the nether in here i don't know if i did i just got rid of that flint and steel nope it's it's nothing okay you know what one thing i want to check out that i just remembered because that just got me thinking of something. I wonder if in my uh, flat grass world, that nether portal with that Windows 8 joke sign in front of it, I wonder if there was something in the nether that relates to that. I'm kind of thinking, let's just see here. No, there was nothing. So either that or the netherworld just regenerated itself from scratch snow survival now this right here my friends does anybody remember a mod called single player commands spc that's where spc test in this name comes from single player commands was a mod that allowed you to well run commands in single player mode which now you can do right you can do that yourself that it's it's built into the game it's been built into the game for years but back when i started playing the you know minecraft desktop client the premium minecraft there was no way for you to run commands like you know changing the weather or spawning items in and so this is basically a cheated survival world is the best way that i can describe it because as you can see i clearly did not know what logs would do when you put them into a crafting table because i just used a bunch of logs to make a house and i'm pretty sure i spawned all those in so let's just open this up this is going to be really fun to go through yeah this was in fact you know what i think this was the earliest survival world that i made that's a good guess definitely gosh this is all like slowly coming back to me now but yeah that's what this world was it was just me kind of just cheating at minecraft survival um because yeah like look at this why would you ever build a house out of logs it makes no sense whatsoever um and i got all this stuff i don't know how legit that this is i might have spawned some of that in i don't know um down here um i have this storage room okay uh and this i think just connects to this other room over here it's like a tunnel and 
Oh my gosh, what is this tunnel do? Okay, well, I guess I didn't even really finish building this over here. So yeah, this is like, uh, I guess, more storage. And... Yeah, that's like pretty much it. I mean, that's that's what I did in this world. I just messed around with single-player commands. Uh, looks like we have a minecart rail here. Let's, let's grab a minecart and head on down there and see what we got. I think some of this was legit. I think I may have spawned in the rails. Because I don't think I gathered enough materials to make all these rails. So I think I spawned that in. Um... But yeah, this just looks like a looks like a mine shaft. Nothing really special at all. You can see I did not make this to be able to uh, get out of it very easily because again, this was before you could hold W in a minecart to uh, make it go forward. So yeah, not much else to say about this world. We'll go ahead and uh, quit out of that. This here, okay, redstone tutorial. This is another one of those demo worlds that I made. Yeah, this was just me kind of demoing like, hey, this is. Um, a redstone line, and this is a source that makes the redstone line light up and, or get power. And then these are the, 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 the different, you know, sources, the different buttons and things you can use to control uh, the redstone lines. And these are some of the things controlled by redstone, and I was kind of just going to go through and, and demo them. So yeah, that's really neat to see, actually. The final world. Because again, all these are just those VM computer worlds that is just nothing exciting. So, here we go. This is the world I spent easily the most time in when it came to single player Minecraft. You probably saw that the name of the world, the actual file name was World 4. So, that's because I had World 1, 2, and 3 before this, and I think they were creative. But I don't know because I deleted them for whatever reason. I hate the fact that I did that. This was where I spent most of my time. And you can see I got this like floating community up here too. Um, this was actually where I think I built my first house. It's one of these. I, th I think it's this one right here. Because there was a floating island up here that I just kind of built all this stuff on top of and then ended up just getting rid of the island. So you see there's no like remnants of that. So you just have this floating community up here. And one of the things I was saying earlier that I would really like to do is kind of pretend that, you know, there was a community of, of, of people like living here. And so I kind of built various like housing developments and things for people to do. And I had this like minecart system that would go down to the mine. I had homes down there for like the miners who would theoretically be like living down there. Probably not the greatest thing to do, but this is supposed to be a restaurant over here. Um, and these are supposed to be like tables, really great design there. This is like the kitchen or no, this is like the checkout counter. And then this in here is the kitchen, I believe. So yeah, just really basic. Like I'm just using stone slabs to like represent all this stuff. I wasn't that fancy. Okay, let's just start up here. Because um, this, I believe, is where I first uh, built a house. I believe it's this one. So again, see we got this fireplace thing here. I was a big fan of the iron door fireplace thing. This is the TV. Was a big fan of making giant obsidian TVs. Got some bookcases. There's one bookcase there. A couch. That actually looks somewhat realistic at least. Oh, and here we got the uh, fireplace thing again. And we got... Looks like these doors are actually fine. That's interesting. They're not glitched out. Uh, bookcases. We've got um, bed, chest, crafting table. Open this door. I don't know why I have a button there for a wooden door, but okay. Got another bedroom in here, and <laughs> this is just, this is a lot of fun, man. This is starting to come back to me. Uh, this is like a patio thing, and this over here is, what is this? Is this like a bathroom? Yeah, this is supposed to be a bathroom because the homes didn't actually have bathrooms in them, so you'd have to use like a, like a communal bathroom. Um, these are, oh gosh, that rain is actually really nice. I'm going to leave that on. It actually takes me back too, because for some reason I specifically remember being in this house when it was raining in the game. And I was like, you know, inside just kind of like enjoying the rain as I was building stuff. Uh, 
But yeah, these homes I think are pretty much the same. They're really, really basic, kind of boring designs. And then these homes. I have no idea what these are here. These are like, I guess I was going for more of a primitive look. I don't know. Like leaves in the windows and logs. Again, you can see I didn't really realize you could, uh, or that you wouldn't use logs to build like all these, I mean, you would use logs maybe for some part of it, but you would use wood planks if you want to use wood. But again, I was not thinking in terms of survival at this point because creative mode was all that I knew. Let's just make this uh, this weather clear because the thunder is probably going to get a little bit worse. Now, this here was pretty much a water stream, which you can see is like frozen up actually. Uh, it was designed to basically be like a spout so that people up here could get water you know that was the idea so i think this runs i oh know yeah all this snow uh all these snow slabs or not slabs these these pieces of snow what actually prevents the water although the water doesn't even run down here you know i think this was just for show because the water goes right to here and then just stops i think i just had like a bunch of water buckets just placed in here and so it was made to look like, like, oh, this is coming from a water source. And then you would go down here and break one of these. <laughs> you would break the glass block and then the sand would all lower down and then it would allow water to like pour into this uh, pool of water here that you would get water from, I guess. Um, yeah, again, just just for show. And this makes no sense. This is a, a terrible design. I should have done something with like a piston. But of course, at this time, I didn't know anything about redstone. So I didn't do anything with it. But yeah, that's like the floating community. And then you get down here and you've got kind of this, I think I called this like the beachside community. So you've got uh, down here, like some lounge chairs. And then over here, you've got some more homes. You have a gate here. I think this was like a check-in gate kind of thing. And so the idea was the, the guard would like let you in. And then in here, you've got like a, like a communal, um, residence or like a movie type thing, like a place where you can view movies, I guess, but it has beds inside. Uh, this here is supposed to be a pool. That's supposed to be a pool. You can see it's really, uh, really detailed there. You just got one like tiny little <laughs> layer of blocks around there. Um, this is a bathroom, I think. Yeah, with a button on the door because, you know, you definitely want that in a public bathroom. Uh, and you've got, I think that's like a just another house. I was really big on the skylights. I did that in pretty much every house here. And then this is like where you get this, uh, this is kind of going into another community. Now leaving Lyaway Beach, welcome to Snowland Falls. Uh, Lyaway is spelled incorrectly, but um, yeah, whatever. So this is kind of like a, you know, this is a completely different area. This is supposed to be. And so the homes are designed a bit differently. Well, honestly not. They're just they're just with logs instead of cobblestone or not cobblestone, regular stone. But it's got pretty much the same stuff inside. You got your pools, which you definitely won't want to go in considering there's snow everywhere. And you've got back here, whatever this is, some really basic house. And then a bathroom thing there. So yeah, I mean, I gosh, it's kind of interesting what I did here. But, yeah, so you can see, like, even the, uh, this is, again, that, like, security hut thing that we had over there. You see it's, like, part of it is the log design, part of it is the stone, so it was kind of like a, like, oh, you're morphing into this other world kind of thing. And then over here, so, this here, we already took a look at. Now, let's go up here. I think this, I just pretty much built homes everywhere. Like, this is another home with multiple rooms actually so you got oh my gosh and this was when i i didn't even know beds were a thing at this time you can see like those other areas have beds so maybe i didn't build the floating island thing first because there's beds up there but yeah this right here is a bed that i basically made before i realized that a bed was an actual item that you could use to you know, sleep at night to, to change the, the time to day. So I just made these, like, beds out of slabs and wool, 
which would be very uncomfortable to sleep on, but of course it was just <laughs> just for show and everything. But um, yeah, so this is like a TV room in here. Gosh, a lot of these designs are like so basic and poor, but God, it's just fun to look back on. I think we'll leave at nighttime. Kind of gives a nice vibe here. Um, so over here, you've got... What is this? Why is... <laughs> why is this... Why is this... Why does this have water in it? You drown in here. Why did I make this like a bedroom? What... What did I... Like, I don't know what... <laughs> like, okay. Um, I don't know what I was thinking there. Um, this... Oh, I remember this. I, I screwed up the water. Okay, it's raining again. Weather clear. And uh, time set zero. This was... Um, this was... Like... I think I, did, I somehow messed up the water. I, I forget how, but like, I just had to end up like, yeah, this over here, that's what it was. This was a, I mess up this water so bad, I don't even know how. And I tried to like, you know, repair it and like build blocks out here so that I could place a bucket to like level this out, but it's just totally screwed up. And I just gave up and just, I think then I decided to like put a bunch of ice blocks to like, make everything like freeze over so it would look much better but then i i don't know i gave up or lost interest or something but yeah that's what that is this over here is um what is up here is this another house probably nope that's the nether portal is there anything in the nether let's see i think i actually made a nether community as well nope i guess not that's not in this world Although, let me just, let me just, it, it brings you in, like, instantly when you're in creative. I'm so used to it, because now I, I play survival most of the time. Oh, yeah, no, here it is right here. This is what I was talking about. So, I did build this, like, nether community. So, let's go in here. And, yeah, it was literally just, uh, of course, then I realized when, because I had beds in here. And... Then I realized that when you try to sleep, you know, they just explode. And I, I, I did that by mistake. I, like, had this all built up, and I was like, oh, yeah, these are, like, living spaces. And then you go in, and you right-click on the bed, and, well, it blew up. And then I realized that you can't actually use beds in, in the nether. So, uh, we've got these, like, signs here. Oh, yeah, I called it Miner's County. That's what I named the little world in there. So... This is kind of, this was kind of designed almost to be like a fallout shelter. Um, because, you know, you're in the nether and there's all these mobs all over the place and you could be in like danger at like any time. But it was, this was like a base for people. Again, this is all like pretend theoretical type stuff. But it was like, oh, you had a bunch of people here and you're all going to go venture out to get some stuff from the nether and then come back and, you know, stay here for a while. I don't know why you would do that, but anyway, I had these, like, codes set up. Code 1 is normal, code 2 is potential attack on Netherville, code 3 is attack on Netherville, all must exit. And then I had this, in the event of a code 3, exit house, run to portal, and scream. <laughs> so, yeah, th these were, like, I don't know, really cheap houses that people could get uh, to live in the nether, live in danger at all times, because I don't know anybody who would ever want to actually live in the nether, but yeah, there you go. So that's what that is. Gosh, that's kind of fun to, to look back at. Um, and then what else? Here we have a non-working redstone contraption, which is supposed to be like a like an elevator kind of thing, which I don't really... No, I think that would work. It was like you would get in here, and then, you know, you'd be you'd, you'd pushed up to the top. Um, you have to be standing on this block, though, and you would be pushed up. Uh, maybe I, I didn't get it working, because is there even... No, there's not even redstone in here. I didn't even wire this at all. So, okay. This here is another room. See, I was a big fan of, like, carpet, beds, bookcases, or bookshelves. Whatever you want to say. Big fan of that for some reason. Over here... Oh, yeah, this is the snowman uh, exhibit, kind of, that inspired me to create that, uh, that entire snowman's land world. Uh, so this is where it was like a thing you come in and you can see live snowmen. In fact, I even think I have a sign out here that says that. Maybe not. Yeah, I guess I don't. I thought I did at one point. Maybe I just removed it for whatever reason. But yeah, this is supposed to be a grocery store. 
it's amazing that all this is slowly coming back to me. So it was like you'd come in and pick out whatever you wanted again, all just for show here. And then you'd see some snowmen and then I guess just leave because there's no checkout stand. So you just take whatever you want. And then this was a, uh, this I think was like a vending machine kind of thing. So like you'd have things in here and then you would press the button and then it would, at least it's supposed to bring it out maybe. Of course, you could just reach in the dispenser and take whatever you wanted. But let's kind of see how this works. I'm kind of curious. So you got your dispenser there, which, oh, it pushes an item onto that. And then, oh, that activates this dispenser. We're supposed to have stuff in it. That's right. Oh, yeah, that's the idea. Now I remember. It was like you're, this is where you deposit money. You would deposit money in here. And so let me just get this, you know, pick this up. That's what it was. You would deposit money in here. So we'll just use a minecart for this example. And then it would lay on that. And then you, you're supposed to get something. Although I guess it didn't activate. Oh, I think you just need more weight on the, on the thing maybe. Is the redstone line not long enough? Oh, it's not even... Okay. Oh, I think it's shooting it out farther. Let's do that so it can't do that. So, bring that in. Yep, there it is. That's what you do. I think this was from a uh, from a Minecraft idea video. I don't know if I created it, so I won't take credit for it. I'm pretty sure. In fact, I, I'm pretty certain this is from a Minecraft uh, idea video. So yeah, the neat little vending machine thing. Took a look at the restaurant. Uh, over here, this is kind of a, again, my love of building things inside of mountains and stuff. This is like an entire like apartment building almost, but you know, just all interconnected rooms that, you know, you just go in here and work your way up to the top. This is like the penthouse suite. Uh, this is supposed to be a computer with your mouse and keyboard, I guess. Fish tank. We saw that in that other creative world. TV, bathroom kind of thing. And yeah, just all sorts of other rooms in here. This is like a living area. Maybe this isn't really an apartment complex, just like a large house. Um, just, you know, taking up multiple stories. Got a uh, enchantment and, uh, well, there's no bookcases around this, or bookshelves around this enchantment table. So that's not, although that, look at that. It's not even, uh, like the book isn't floating. Huh, look at that. That's a bit of a glitch. That's interesting. But yeah, this is your like brewing station for potions. Uh, this here is supposed to be the hot tub, I think, down here. Yeah, so you'd sit in here and chill out and watch some TV. That's what that was about. And uh, in here, this is your grill, uh, your swing here. I really liked how that came out. It's like giving the illusion that it's like hanging off there. And in here, this is uh, just some storage, I guess. Nothing really special. Oh, you know what? This was supposed to... I know exactly what this was. This was supposed to be a room. All the paintings have fallen off by now, and the um, and I guess just the entity laying on the ground just eventually despawned. But this was supposed to be a room filled with paintings, and then you'd obviously have the classic walk into the painting to get to the secret compartment thing, and you'd have a bunch of stuff stored back here. This right here, you know what? This is the prison. Yeah. I made this... Again, we're kind of, you know, making a real community... Kind of thing here so i made a prison like oh yeah this is where when people are bad they get put in a jail cell so yeah we took a look at that room this here is uh this goes down to yeah this is another again i loved building stuff inside you know existing structures and mountains and stuff so this is another set of uh rooms i guess you could say like separate homes uh built like underground and this was like the elevator that would take you to them so yeah again you would drown in the elevator if you <laughs> were in survival mode but i really loved making elevators out of water streams for some reason i love doing stuff like that um now this here is the mine track or mine cart rail so you would press this button and there's supposed to be a minecart spinning around in here. 
We actually not put a space there in front of uh, the M. So there's like a minecart spinning around here, and then what happens is, you know, you press the button, it flicks that track, and then it brings the minecart onto the track here, and then you get in it, and you press this button, and then you go for a ride, and this will take you through a couple different areas of Miner's County. So, it'll bring you up here, this is... What is this? Okay, well this is one of the stops. I think this is just, yeah, the maintenance for for this. Or no, this isn't the entire, like, this is just one mine track. There is another one that goes down to the actual mine shaft. This is, like, to get up to this area here. And then this room, I think, is, like, a diamond storage thing. This is probably very similar to that room we saw in the flat world, where you would go down, and then at the very bottom, or not at the very bottom in that world, but I think in this world, we're pretty close to bedrock here. In fact, let's see. Nope, we're not at bedrock yet, but yeah, so this is just like a, oh my gosh, the weather, man. Uh, so yeah, it's just like a room, like, oh, look at how rich I am. Okay, let's go ahead and go back up. That's, that's pretty much what that was. Really, really easy to make thing. And so we'll get all the way up here. Again, really loving those water elevators. And let's go ahead and go back on uh, on here. We'll go ahead and hit this button. Although that's going to bring us in here. Dang it. I knew that was going to happen. Okay. Let's just uh, get here then and do this. We There we go. So we'll head back. I mean, we'll just get out of the cart. We don't have to go back to where we were. So that's one of the mine tracks. Now, over here, this is another house, if you can believe that. And then in here, you've got, which for some reason, I think this was the house is supposed to be of the person who would like monitor the minecart rail and who was going to the mine because there's this window here. And then in here, what is this? I think this just goes, it's like a tunnel down to, oh my gosh, another, <laughs> how many of these did I make? It's just another, um, oh, and that brings you over here. Okay. And then in here is, yep, I really did this a whole lot. So again, another like mine cart, you would get a mine cart from there. Um, so this is how you would go to the mine, I believe. Maybe? Or no, I think this was this guy's, you know, the person who lived here. I think it was their like personal mine track that would take you to let's just you know let's let's see where it goes i think this might go to yeah this goes down here into this like secret room uh that you can't get up out of if you weren't in creative mode even like pressing w oh well that works okay uh let's <laughs> try to like uh i guess you can do that you just like have a mine card here and then you just okay is really just standing there that, that that that'll do it really oh yeah it will okay great so yeah i didn't really think that one through but you know that's that's what that is and then you can go through here you can go down to where we were go into this other house over here i think i just got to a point where i just started connecting things even if they made no sense at all like this makes no sense these are two separate houses like why do they need this massive tunnel Connected. I guess maybe this was another room of that house. I don't know. But anyway, this here is the mine track that takes you down to the mine. And it starts um, way up here. Or no, wait a second. Where does this run to? This runs all the way. Okay, well, it looks like it's broken there. There's a break in the rail, but where does this go? Oh, I guess I was in the process of extending this around the hill or something. Because, yeah, that's what that is. This is a completely separate track. But I know that there is a track. Yeah, it is this. That That's what it is. This is the thing going down to where the mine shaft is. This is, like, I guess something I was adding on to this. I was trying to figure out how to, like, make these two connect and have, like, a, uh, you know, switching rail to switch between them. It's my best guess there but let's see in here this is uh this runs down here i guess it starts here yeah it starts here because 
there's nowhere for this to go, right? It's, or no, there is. Wait a second. Oh, that's it. Okay. Yeah, it's this right here. That's what it is. So you go in here, and then this is where you begin when you want. I wish I put a sign there or something. Gosh. But yeah, this goes up here. And then this is what takes you to the mine shaft. And this is actually kind of neat what I did what I did down here, at least I think. Uh, so you go through a little ways and you end here in the station. And you've got some more rooms here for people to live down here. You know, if you really wanted to. Of course, you can just see right into their house. That's really great. You have a cactus here to throw away items. And then this right here. So the idea is, you know, you'd come down here or you'd wake up in the morning. I don't know what... Oh, that's neat. I put, like, water and lava on, on the side. Okay. But, yeah, then you'd go over to this one, and you'd press the button, and you'd go into the actual mine shaft, which is way down here. And... Oh, wait a second. No, this isn't the mine shaft. This takes you to... I think this takes you to, uh, underneath that body of water to the other side of the... Uh... Yeah, that's what this is. This takes you to basically another, like landmass over here and it is raining again and it's nighttime so yeah that's where we were like that's all the all the messed up water over there and that's one of the buildings and then i ran this thing all the way under here and then this is i think this was going to be like an expansion i was going to build more stuff over here because i was like i wanted to keep everything um i guess on well no because i started building some stuff on the other side of the mountain I don't know, I guess I just wanted more space, and I wanted to make it in, like, a different biome, and so I just brought it over here. And then here you have that same minecart thing. If there was a minecart in here, that would be working, and then you got this random plot of land. And so, yeah, that's what this is. There's nothing else over here, as you can see. It's just got some slimes chilling, and yeah, that's it. So, we'll get in here and press the button again and hop on the minecart track. And wait a second, what was that? I think this was just for show. Or no, that's actually an abandoned mine shaft. Look at that. Um, but yeah, this I remember took a decent amount of time to make. It would have taken longer in survival mode. It, I, I was certainly feel like I guess cheating if it was in creative mode. But this is a creative world, so you know it's it's fine. Uh, I mean, I don't know how else you would do it because I don't think you could switch into survival mode at this time. Uh, and yeah, so we're back here. I thought there was another track. I think it is. I think it's down here, maybe? No? Maybe not. I thought I had another track that, like, takes you deeper into the mine, but I guess the idea was you just walk down yourself. Because, yeah, there's nothing in there, nothing in there, nothing over here. So, yeah. That's what that is. We'll go ahead and, uh, we'll go ahead and hop back up. I don't know why I'm saying hop, we're in the, we're, we're gonna sit down in the minecart, and, uh, go back up here. Man. And here we are. And then, yeah, we're back here, we can go, let's just hop back out here. And, yeah, let's see, we took a look at that, we took a look at this up here, this whole thing. I think that is everything or wait a second what is this over here i think this is like a tnt testing thing i'm pretty sure that's what this was i think it was like just to test tnt um you'd launch it down there this over here is i don't really know i guess maybe a toilet thing and this is like flushing the toilet i guess that's that's my best guess there. Random glass. Oh, is this like a glass home? I think it is. Yeah, it's supposed to be like, you know, everything's glass. Is that it, I think? Or, okay, what is this? This is some other thing. Oh, I think this is like another... Yeah, this is just like what I made over there, but I think I started making it over here. Yeah, I think that is everything in this world. Um, although there is this down here that I missed. I don't know if this is really anything important, but... No, it looks just like a random structure. It looks like I just set off TNT over here. What the heck? But I got a glass room and then 
Yeah. That is everything. I mean, I'm trying to, like, think through my thought process when I was making some of this stuff, because some of this stuff is just so bizarre, like... But that was the fun in this, man. This was just me in 2011 having fun on my computer, just having a good old time, and... It was the start of something great because, I mean, like I said, I, I feel like I owe a lot to this game. You know, it. I, I met so many people through this game. I started, I restarted my YouTube career because of this game. And I don't know, maybe it's crazy to say, but I almost feel like Minecraft is kind of this, this friend you have that you don't talk to for like years, but when you finally decide to reach out to them, it's like you never stop talking. You know, like you just pick up right where you right where you left off. There's no hard feelings. It's just, hey man, how you doing? I kind of feel like Minecraft is that game for me. Even to this day, I mean, I never really quit playing it. I've always, in some capacity, found my way back, even if it was just for a day. I know this probably wasn't the most exciting video, and, you know, we'll, we'll definitely have some more usual content for this channel coming soon because i've got a lot of awesome stuff to show you guys but it's just nice to kind of take a break from that for a bit and just relive the past kind of in a different way because we always relive the past on this channel with a lot of the old tech we take a look at but this is kind of more personal to me certainly because these are these are my creations my very first even as <laughs> however poor that they are they're mine, and it's what I, it, it's kind of just like a part of me almost. I don't know, make, maybe I'm making this like far too big of a thing that it has to be, but let me just say thank you guys. Thank you for allowing me to call this my job and career, and thank you for, you know, putting up with these kind of random videos that I do from time to time. I, I'm very thankful Thank you for 300k. That's an insane number that I never really would have ever saw myself reaching. And I know that's a cliche thing to say, but it's so true. I mean, I I remember being ecstatic about reaching 100 subscribers. And that was one of the things that made me like take this YouTube thing more seriously and start doing like weekly uploads. And again, it's crazy to think how like one little decision heavily impacts your your future and like i said i i owe a lot to minecraft even if it's in an indirect way this game helped my channel get back off the ground and i'm really grateful for that so thanks for the memories minecraft it might be a while until i see you again but i know when i do it'll be like we never left so guys, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, thanks for being you, and for being awesome. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.